We will start with modeling a cup. Add a circle with 16 vertices. Extrude on the axis. Extrude lower part and merge vertices to form closed bottom. Smooth rough angle with Ctrl B. To add a thickness to this mug, use Solidify. Now apply the modifier and tweak the shape until you're satisfied with the result. Select and separate the inside part that will be our T. Scale down a bit. Extrude and form the top like there is a surface tension. Now we will start with the same 16 vertices and form a plate. Solidify will also help us with that. Now at the handle. This time we will start with Bezier curve. Work with the shape. Set the fill option to full. Change a depth and resolution. Now convert Curve to Mesh with Alt-C. This is a good moment to use Mirror Modifier, as we have to merge those two meshes. Add extra edges on a mark around the connection points using Subdivide. Using Snap Tool, combine according vertices of a handle and the mug, merge those two meshes and remove double vertices. Tweak the shape. Now, when basic objects are in place, we can jump to materials. We will start with simple glass shader for the mug and the plate. Add some HDR as basic lighting and plane as our table.
For the table I will use combination of glossy and diffuse shader and noise texture. This will give me good reflective surface for the lighting. And as for the lighting, I decided to use a big plane that will represent a thin window. With all this glass and water, backlighting will give us a bright caustic. Let's go back to the glass. Mix glass with transparent shader. Now duplicate glass shader to have some variation of roughness. Mix those two with noise texture as a factor. Use another noise texture into displacement input to add a bit of bumpiness. As for the T, that material is simple. One glass shader with a bit of roughness and corresponding color. Maybe mix with transparent shader if you like a light T. To add some points of interest I decided to put the leaves of mint to the cup. Import image as plane will do the trick. Add a few subdivisions and shape those leaves in the mug. Set the clamp direct and clamp indirect values to something like 8. This will help fight fireflies in final render. 
Now we have our basic look and we can jump to composition. This will be a simple composing with darkening corners, gamma correction, color balance and a bit of chromatic aberration. Now some additional details, like condensation on the top of the mug. For that I use this texture with a gradient. All the mesh except condensation side is unwrapped to black corner. And the part that will have a condensation stretched to full height of the image. Now we will mix this texture with some noise. This can be used as a mix factor for the glass shader with more roughness. looks tasty. Let's add some sugar. For that I scaled a few cubes, set up those as a rigid party, added a floor and duplicated those cubes a few dozen times. With help of physic I dropped those cubes on a plane. I bathed the result to the plane as a normal and displacement maps. Created new cube with a few subdivision and displacement modifiers.
the displacement map goes here. As for the material, subsurf scattering shader plus glossy shader with normal map that we baked. Now sprinkle some sugar particles around. And for the final touch we will add some steam. For that a simple smoke simulation will be enough.
Volumetric Scattering Shader will do the trick for us. And after some final touches we will send this to the render for a few hours. Okay, it's time to taste this tea. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will wait you for the next time on this channel. Bye bye!